Hi, this is Fred, FR5ED, here with the beer review. Uh, it has been several months since I've done a review. Uh, you'll see the dates on the previous ones uh, as I've been getting caught up uh, with ones that were recorded but not edited and then put out here. Um, I think it was probably August of 2014 uh, with the last review. Today is January 3rd, 2015, the first review of the new year. A lot of things are new. We moved into a new house, as you know from some of the final reviews before, we were wrapping up our 20-year stay in our previous house we owned. Uh, and we did find a new house. We're moved in, been here almost four months, and uh, just got a new computer as well, got getting it loaded up, getting the camera and audio and everything going again uh, in my new studio. Um, still working on that. But uh, here we are, and today to to launch the new 2015 edition of the beer reviews something i thought i'd had and apparently i haven't i can't find it in any of my reviews it's arrogant illegitimate child ale from stone brewing um, and this is categorized as an american strong ale uh, although i've also seen it um, listed as an ipa and i'm not sure how they have it here on the bottle uh, it's 7.2% ABV. I don't know what the IBUs are offhand. If I run across them, I will uh, let you know. Uh, but checking my two sources here, uh, have not seen that, that note. It rates on Rate Beer a 99 overall and a 99 in style. And that is after 3,668 reviews. This is a very popular, well-known, um, and well-appreciated Ale and over on Beer Advocate, it rates a 93 uh, as the BA score. The brothers rated a 98. This is after 9,314 ratings, so it's pretty amazing. Um, I'm not sure if I have a bottle opener handy, except yes, I do. Wait a minute, yes, I do. Got a brand new pair of reefs for Christmas, brand new <laughs> bottle openers underneath. The other ones I just about wore off, and they are now my. Uh, work outside garage shoes. These work great. First time I've used them to pop a cap like that. All right, let's take a look. Smell, taste. Seems fairly dark, you know, as uh, IPAs. And it, 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 since it's American Strong Ale, it does seem like it may fit that better. And it, it's a little, not quite as dark in person, but that is dark. It's a very mahogany color that I'm seeing come through the bottom of the glass here. Uh, I'm getting the light come through this way. Um, it looks a little more brown on my screen, but it's definitely I'm getting a mahogany color. It had a good two finger head there, mostly dense. We can see if we can do the close up cam on that just so you can get a, a better idea. Fairly dense head and it's hanging in there. Let's give it a smell. There are a lot, a lot of malt in there, but also almost sharp uh, citrus candy smell. But I'm definitely getting malt. Interestingly, I mean, I say it's only 7.2%, but I seem to smell some of the alcohol in there, which uh, I don't often do in something under, you know, 9 or 10 ABV. So it's not, you know, pounding out the aromas, uh, but it's, it's a very balanced, malty, uh, Caramelly, malty, citrusy aroma with almost a candy type aroma to it. Let's give it a, a taste. A little bit of floral in there. I swear there's rye in there. I don't know that it says anything about that. No, don't see anything, but I swear there's that nice dry, spicy rye taste in there with the malts. Plenty of hot bitterness. I mean, plenty. <laughs> Not that it's over the top, but it's up there. Mm. The dryness of, I'm presuming, rye and the bitterness of the hops is, is really giving a, a nice, almost astringency to the mouthfeel and, and uh, sensation there. I don't get any real sweetness at all. It's, it's, it's pretty dry. And the hops... Besides the bitterness, um, there is a little bit of uh, essence of that citrus there, the, the candy citrus. But really, I'm getting um, what I'm perceiving as rye spiciness, uh, dryness, boldness. 
So that would be my description as a very dry mouthfeel. Uh, the dry, spicy of the rye, the bitterness of the hops. So it's, it's, I'm not getting much more complexity out of it than that. Not saying it's simple, but it, it, it's, that's how I'm kind of getting and defining everything I've got there. It's the, you know, the balance of the malt and the hops. Um, still getting good hop aroma out of that too. The head is holding it there nicely. You got some good lacing. Nice color. I can I can see why this is rated way up there. American Strong Ale, uh, yet I think typically American Strong Ales are not really known so much for their bitterness. Um, you know, I, th I thought they were more of a um, American version of the Wee Heavy or the Scotch Ales, but I do like it. I would definitely get it again. I definitely recommend it. I'm not sure I would rate it as 99.99, uh, but I definitely would rate it, uh, you know, not far off of that. It is excellent. All right, well, that is the first review of the new year. This is Arrogant Illegitimate Child Ale from Stone Brewing, and this is Fred of our 5ED over and out. <laughs>